Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Warfare Ecology. Listen, it is, oh, I got so much going on. I'm doing too much. It is Friday. Let me fix my camera because, yes, and let me take that off. Yes, I was doing some other things earlier, so here we go. Yes, it is Friday. Let's get it off for the ladies on Monday as well. But you, anyway, it's Friday. Prepare yourself. It's Overflow Friday. We have a very, very special day planned for you. So prepare yourself. It is going to be great. And so Monday, the ladies, listen, the conversation that the ladies had on Monday with Bishop was a, listen, it was a whole lot that was going on. So I encourage you that if you miss Monday's show, that you go back and you check it out on Facebook at Bishop G. Bloomer, YouTube or the General Warfare, right where you're watching right now. It's a great conversation that was had. And so uh, you might want to check that out. And uh, Eschatology Tuesday, Dr. Williams was not with us, but Bishop actually started a, a teaching on altars and covenants. So you might want to check that out as well, too. And so Wednesday, um, Wednesday was pretty good. What we have going on? Oh, yes. Deacon Theodore Gray came and joined us on Wednesday. <laughs> if you've never heard of him, you really want to go check that out as well, too. Now, yesterday, listen, the deliverance team was here yesterday. Overseer Ronnie King and Apostle Shirley Brown. And there was some uh, statements and mic dropping moments that were made in the area of deliverance and warfare that I encourage you that you really need to go back and, and take a listen to because yesterday's conversation was about pride, confidence, arrogance, and the thin line. Y'all might need to go hear that. We all need to hear those things just to kind of keep ourselves in check. So you can always go back and check that out. So today we're going to see what the Lord has to say. Apostle Mary Baxter will be joining us today. So you do not want to miss this. So prepare yourself. And uh, I want you to go ahead and get your questions ready. Put your questions in the chat or email us at media at bishopbloomer.com. And we'll do our best to get those questions answered for you live on the air today. So good afternoon to Wanda. How are you? I'm doing well, Tamela. I hope you are. It's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday before the 10th. So. <laughs> yeah, she got some work cut out for you this week huh? coming up. <laughs> it's a lot going on, but, you know, we, we make it happen. We make it happen. So. Y'all have a good team going. So everything will okay. run smooth. Most definitely. Most definitely. All right. We're going to talk in a little bit to Wanda. Okay. All right. Thanks. So like I said, you guys, go ahead and get your questions ready. Put your questions in the chat or email us at media at bishopbloomer.com. And we'll do our best to get those questions answered for you live on the air today. And so, you know, we've done a lot of talking, just sharing a lot of information in like the last year and stuff like that, because we all need to make sure that we are coming into our own and having multiple streams of income. I'm telling you, you need to have at least five, at least five. And if you're trying to do something major, then you need nine. OK, so just just know that you got to start somewhere. You take that one, then you keep doing that self inventory and looking within yourself and seeing what it is that you have to offer because your next stream of income can be something that you already know how to do or something that you like to do. And you can really get those things started for little or no money. You know, hands down, it's just, a, it's just about taking that leap of faith. And then just trust in the process and just doing it. I mean, because eat, no one says that when you start a business or a side hustle, that it has to be something that, you know, you're making a million dollars a year. You got to make $10,000 a month, you know, $120,000 a year. Nothing said, nobody says it's got to be that. You work that business to what it is that you are trying to accomplish. And so it's on your terms, you know, and, it, and then sometimes those things we try to set out on our terms will be those things that are meant to be successful. And when you begin to succeed, you realize you're going to have to make some other choices so continue to take that self inventory and look within yourself and see what it is you have to offer because i promise you you got something but you know while you're doing that you know we got to think about the different ways that we can get our streams of income as far as passive or active streams of income and so this week we're talking about passive streams because we want to be able to make money while we're sleeping 
hands down, that's what it comes down to. So um, our uh, passive streams is number one, start a YouTube channel. Channel, You know, that's just so you can share some of your expertise and your in making tutorials, because you know, that's the number one stop for a tutorial. And then also, um, you know, or if you just wanna share your life like some of these people do, and share your whole life, your history and all that stuff like that. And then share, just share whatever you want to. Start it on your YouTube channel because you will be surprised. There's a YouTube channel for just about everything. So even if you had the ability to sit there and play some of that great music, that's the little waterfall music, people put that on the channel and they make money off of it. So you just got to be creative and figure out something that works for you. Secondly, write a book. Yes, book writing is always a good way to go. Um, you just got to do your due diligence and write your book and get a marketing plan in place so that you can promote your book. You can always self-publish. It's a lot easier than what it used to be. And, um, you know, it's just a great way to go. And that's what I do. I help people help that want to self-publish. So that is what I do. Um, and number three, affiliate marketing. That's just advertising links and products for other companies. And you receive, you might as well say like a commission or you get a fee for whatever it is that whoever it is that buys, whatever it is that they buy through that link, you know, just something that you really got to do your due diligence on and see, you know, if you're going to be able to accomplish what it is that you're going to do. And fourth, create an online course or membership site. This goes kind of goes hands in hand with the YouTube channel, because a lot of the times we do have a lot of intellectual property. Did y'all take the time out to Google intellectual property if you didn't know what that was? You should. And so then you can uh, be able to realize that you do have intellectual property and it has a value. So when you see that, it'll, it'll change the way that you take your self-inventory. So maybe we'll talk about intellectual property next week. Um, number one, number four, uh, five, uh, five invest in real estate that is always a given as far as you know doing passive income so if you have a house that you're thinking about selling maybe not sell it but rent it out and go buy another one or move another property or something like that that's just some ideas that are out there and these are just some simple ways that you can make passive income and of course you know there's all kinds of other ways those are kind of like the top ways you know of course investing you know and having your your money diversified in different places is, a, is another way um, as long as you just got to, once you start, you got to keep going. You can't stop. And just because the market goes down doesn't mean it is not going to come up. So you got to be ready to stay in it for the long haul. Hands down. That's what it comes up to. So I hope that you guys are ready. Go ahead and get your questions ready. Put your questions in the chat or email us at media at bishopbloomer.com. And we'll do our best to get those questions answered for you live on the air today. And while you're doing that, go ahead and send us your testimony. Tell us how the Lord has been moving on your behalf. There's so many stories that I know that we can tell because we all know that we are overcomers and we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. So let that testimony serve as the elimination of the process blessing for someone else. Email us at media at bishopbloomer.com. So we are getting ready for the Open Air Festival starting Sunday night. Yes, it is here. Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. We will be at Bethel Family Worship Center July 24th through the 29th. And listen, we got so much going on this week. It's got some great speakers and uh, Apostle Frida Henderson and Apostle Shirley Brown are going to open us up on Sunday night. I'm anxious to hear this apostolic charge that these ladies are going to release to us. So just get ready because this is going to be fire year. And so we're going to be feeding every night at the tent. So um, we will not be doing a food giveaway this month. And uh, Thursday night at the tent, we're going to be doing Overseer Ronnie King's book release, The Second in Command, The Touch of the Midas. So join us Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. at the Open Air Festival 
and we will be, um, you be, he'll be releasing his book and you actually can order a copy, pre-order a copy of the book. And I encourage you to do so. Pre-order, there's a, it's a limited amount available. A hundred copies are available. If you pre-order it, you get in on this pre-order, you'll be one of the people that gets the signed copy. And there's gonna be a little bit of a CD in there of Deacon Gray comedy. And we have some other little goodies set aside for you in the bag. So I encourage you to go ahead and get your order today. Pre-order your copy at rlkingshop.com. You do not want to miss this. This is going to be an amazing time. So, oh, our next food giveaway will be on Wednesday, August the 24th at 11 a.m. at 515 Dowd Street in Durham, North Carolina. So just go ahead and put this on your calendar and come on and come see us. We will be there and we'll be there waiting. So. Go ahead and get your questions ready for today. Put your questions in the chat or email us at media at bishopbloomer.com. All right, Tawanda, let's talk a little bit. All right. Sorry, I was hitting <laughs> the wrong button. <laughs> I was like, oh, Lord, I ain't got no message for me today. <laughs> Woo. Well, we, 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 we riding on fumes right now. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Riding on fumes. So, but yeah, it's, it's coming down. It's, but everything is coming together though. You know, and it's always like, it's always just so much. And, you know, and you know, when you're getting ready to do something that's going to be great, you're getting up with so much opposition, so mm -hmm. many things come up against it just to try to distract you and get you off kilter and to, you know, get discouraged and frustrate you all of that stuff like that but can't let that stuff get in your way just keep pressing on you might be right. proud when you come out but you're gonna come out on top i promise you <laughs> yes it's always a blessing around the corner absolutely absolutely and so you know sometimes we have to look at those things that happen that you know that don't go the way that we think that they should and the pro the point of that is is that that's the way that we think that it should have went mm -hmm. so sometimes that that is not what god has ordered and we have to learn and just take those things in stride and respect them when they happen and just be like okay you know what this is it right here okay lord i hear you and just roll with it plain mm -hmm. and so and it takes character building to get to that because a lot of times we want everything right then right now and my way or no way Mm -hmm. and God will show you uh-uh it's gonna be my way and you're gonna learn through this process and yeah. then when those tests come about you're able to fit, um, sail through that because you've been there you've done that you know what works and what don't work absolutely absolutely mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So have you yeah done? yeah I was going to say I watched yesterday and yesterday show was phenomenal listen that's what we're about to talk about because I can wake up on that one <laughs> Listen, I was watching the show and I was doing other things. Mm -hmm. And there was at one point in the show, Apostle Brown made one statement. I dropped everything I was doing and had to look at the computer screen. <laughs> and the thing that she said is actually something that I told her, I said, if Bishop would have been on, you'd have still been talking about that right there. Because it was one of those things, the, the statement that she made, and I'm getting ready to say what she said, is something that is actually a whole lesson in itself. And they were having a discussion and they were talking about pride and the Leviathan spirit. Mm -hmm. And that and she made the statement and said that the Leviathan spirit is not a demon. It's a principality. Yes. Let's that shook me too. <laughs> that right there, that's a whole nother ball game. Yeah, it's a whole nother ball game because, you know, sometimes I, you know, and I was like, and it just made me think that how sometimes we are quick to call something a prince. I mean, excuse me, a demon. Mm -hmm. And it's really bigger than what we think it is. Yes. So, you know, and it's like, so there's like, there's like a whole lesson that really needs to be developed on the difference between demons and principalities and how and what the ranking order is so people can understand because that right there that was one of them mic drops said what you say huh 
I almost wanted to really <laughs> unmute myself. Hey, can you go back and can you explain that a little bit further for the people? Because that was good because that's that's something that we don't hear. You know, a lot of times when we run into to problems and trouble and stuff like that, we always say it was a demon that did it. That was a demon. Yeah. But, you know, when you're getting choked by the Leviathan spirit, that ain't got nothing to do with a demon. That's all about principalities. That's over regions and stuff like that. So, you know. Yeah, we definitely need a more thorough teaching on that because, you know, you want to know how to effectively um, defeat the enemy. And yeah. if you're fighting his foot soldiers instead of the um, generals, you're losing <laughs> You know, you're not taking out that leadership, you know, that you're not taking out key players. Well, see, it's not even about it. The thing is, is that the whole point in that was that you got to know who and what you're fighting. Yes. Because if you think sitting up here thinking that you're dealing with a demon and you're not, you're dealing with the whole principality. That's a whole nother uh, ball game. That's a whole nother warfare strategy and how it is that you got to approach it. Mm hmm. You know, when you decide that you're going to try to be deliverance and spiritual warfare and stuff like that, you got to know what battle you're fighting across the board. Right. So right. that was that was a good one. Did you have any other uh, points from yesterday that you thought were, were really good? There was a few of them. Yeah, um, just breaking down the the root causes behind being proud. And a lot of it is low self-esteem. Yeah. A lot of it is not receiving the love and care that you should have received as a child. You know, those, you know, what you think mm -hmm. um, we should gently close off or just look over like um, Overseer was saying that, you know, when a child is going around kicking people, it's cute. But when he's grown, he's kicking people. Now he about to get killed because you don't want to, um, you know, stop that behavior at a young right. age because it will mature and, and it's going to eventually cause death one yeah. way or the other, physically or spiritually. Absolutely. And that right there was a, that was a major thing. I think <laughs> they asked Cynthia the question, what do you think it is? And she just said low self-esteem. I said, she done blew the whole thing up now mm -hmm. because that's what it is. You know, in a, lot of, in a lot of the times, you know, I think that, you know, and, and then one, and I'm going back to what Apostle Brown said, because once she said that it was a Leviathan spirit, then it made me realize that, you know, that there's something way, way bigger going on that a lot of the times we don't even recognize it because we choose not to deal with it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. get to that root of that thing. That was powerful yesterday. So, oh, my bad. Amazon done delivered. So, yeah, what so that principality, you know, as Bishop always say, prince in their palace, mm -hmm. you know, and what can defeat a prince, a king? And, you know, we had to call on the king of kings to help us with that because a principality, I was looking it up and it said it's the fifth highest order in the celestial hierarchy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is not like you were saying, this ain't this little demon, this ain't no just a little bit of spirit mm -hmm. or evil spirit. This is someone that's over regions. And, you know, the more we get um, educated and the tools that God, um, Jesus left us here on earth to fight these things, you know, the more victory we can get and advance God's kingdom. Yeah. And, you know, and that really makes me think about uh, there's a scripture in the Bible and it's a story that talks about, you know, where they were trying to cast out the demon and they couldn't do it. And then mm -hmm. Jesus had to come and do it and said, this kind right here only goes by fasting and praying. That's just all the more work, proof that you got to know what it is that you're fighting. And mm -hmm. you got to know what your position is in what it is that you're trying to do. So, yeah, there was, there was yeah. a lot that happened yesterday. Yeah, they need to uh, unpack that. Like you said, with so many different rooms and avenues uh, that, you know, you can definitely is, um, explore because that pride, sometimes it can be subtle too. And you don't realize you're walking in pride. You think you, you're just telling the goodness of God and all the things he gave you, but you got to realize what's behind that. You know, is it condescending? Is it coming from a place of where well, you don't think it, but I think it, you know, like you said, all comes back to their right. self-esteem and it does and i think that a lot of the times that 
you know, there's a, you know, because we also touched on like confidence and arrogance yesterday too, a little bit. And um, it's like, there's a thin line, Mm -hmm. very, very thin line. And sometimes, you know, we cross it. We all have crossed it at some point and didn't realize that we did. Mm -hmm. And so as we were ending the show, they went to one scripture and that was the one that talked about where you had to examine yourself. Uh, I can't remember which one it was. Anybody remember? Oh, see a king. How are you doing today? How are you doing? All right. What was that scripture? That last one we went to yesterday. Examine that's- yourself. See whether you be of the faith. Yes. I don't know exactly where it is, but not sitting here on the screen, but I can pull it up while y'all talking. Um, yeah. So that one right there. And it just, it's like, you got to examine yourself and yeah. Yeah. It was- it was heavy. I can't second, remember. Second Corinthians 13 and 5. Second Corinthians 13, 13 and 5. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean it was it was really, really good. And that's that was the note that we ended it on yesterday. 13 and 5. 13 and 5. I'm getting it right now. I'm reading out that um the New Living Translation, it says, examine yourself to see if your faith is genuine. Mm. Test yourself. Surely mm. you know that Jesus Christ is among you. If not, you have failed the test of genuine faith. Mm. As you test yourself, I hope you will recognize that we have not failed the test of apostolic authority. Mm. Well, that's good. Y'all dropped the mic and we ain't started the show yet. <laughs> But I mean, but I mean, that right there was just a powerful moment Mm -hmm. from yesterday. I mean, that is what happened on Deliverance Thursday. So it was just, it was just a lot, you know. It's good when you can, you can leave a show and people still sitting on edge. And I, and I I told Apostle Brown, I said, you need to develop that, develop Mm -hmm. that. And so there's going to be a day that, you know, it's going to be some some revelation knowledge coming out of that one statement, just like she developed, uh, you know, about freedom, that freedom piece. And she talked, yes. she talked about it for like, mm-hmm. uh, it, it kept unpacking and unveiling. And this, that's how this, this uh, uh, principality lessons is going to be. And it's yeah. amazing that you all was talking about that a few moments ago, because you made a comment to Miller that when you, you, you fight a demon versus a principality, you know, we all have, uh, you know, we give us power over evil spirits. Now, when it comes to principalities, I think it takes us, we'll talk about it later, but I think it takes a special rank to come mm-hmm. against a principality. And she just said a king, but in the in the apostolic church, which rank can come against a principality? Can it be just a simple believer? That, you understand? And no, so have to study ranks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to study ranks because it's like, it's it's almost it's a hierarchy across the board. That's a given because that's what it is. But you know, you a simple believer is not going to know how to fight that. It requires mm-hmm. different strategies. Mm-hmm. Hold yeah, on different, the it it, it takes take different anointings and yeah, yeah. And, and 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 the wisdom that it takes to go into a principality. You have to know you have to know how to go around and go under. Got to go, you understand? Like if you look at these castles, and you, you can't just walk up in here and say I'm about to kill you dead today. Mm-hmm. No. Strategy. <laughs> You be dead in the moat before you would get to the castle. You be dead why, in the moat. <laughs> and that's why a lot of believers are, are, are they 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 get out like in the spirit realm and they get crossed up because they they think they're fighting a demon. They come against a principality, and because of the type of warfare they come out and they they mentally challenged. They wonder what happened. I touched on something, and when I was praying, I got through praying. I just got dizzy and I got a headache and stuff like that. Well, you need to come out of that. You need to come out. Start. You need to go eat some eat lunch or something because that wants your assignment. And, and I think that's what happens to a lot of people. They end up t- walking into something thinking that they are equipped to handle it and can't. And then they mess around and they touch on something they ain't got no business. And the stuff that they went in there to fight, they come out with and hold it themselves. That's a lesson right there. Right, jot that down, uh, Tawan. We're going to shoot that over to Pastor Brown, too. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some great lessons. And we can switch the thing right here for an hour, you know, understand? Because it's mm-hmm. it's, a, it's something that, it's a lot to unpack and unfold because we can go into the into the prayer ministry of the prayer ministry of the church. You know, we have, we talked about apostles and prophets, stuff like that in the preacher, but let's go into deal with the prayer, how people go, the prayer people are sometimes challenged because they touch things that they wasn't supposed to touch and they come out the rest of their life, they're challenged, 
in different areas. And we say, wow, what happened? And it, this was a praying person. They pray six or seven hours a day and they come out and then, you know, you understand what I'm saying? I don't, you know, just, I don't say it, but things, things happen in the spirit and they're not able to shake it. Yeah. And, um, and we think just because you're a person that prays a lot, they should be fine. They, in, they, they, in, they in the face of God all that long. Yeah. But there's, there's other things in the spirit realm that they're, they're, they're demonic forces, they're principalities, they're, so much out there but when you get into the spirit realm if you don't know how to navigate you need to you need to stay out of it you know just until god equip you you know and and so that's 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 something to talk about right there and and, and and that equipping is what makes generals in the kingdom mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right but those type of tests that you have to go through to be equipped is no joke mm -mm. is no, no joke some some people have to go to death's door. You and you may you know what you're gonna you're gonna come on for 10 weeks, you understand, and, and then you gotta raise you up, and then you understand you the, the type of trials that a that a general have to go through. Mm -hmm. If you're not ready for it, don't don't take it on because it the, the it's it's the pressure, the stress, and the suicidal thoughts and you want to do. I mean, it's just so much you have to deal with just just for the to be tested to be a general. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Bishop tells you his, his story, the thing that Bishop talks about, you know, and the things, you know, the, the rank that he's at now, it wasn't easy for him to get there because we I, we were with him uh, 26 years of the journey out that I know of. And it was not, I know the things he went, it was not easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was not easy. And, you know, and just where God has placed us, the thing we're going to get, it's not been easy, but it's been worth it. Amen. We thank God for that right there. So as y'all can see, things are getting ready to just get ready to happen here on Warfare Ecology on Overflow Friday. It's going to be powerful as always. And it's going to be great, as you can see by the discussion that was just had by the, the two ladies. And I think I think you all need to do a show. Just 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 talk. I mean, just yeah. <laughs> she's, she's shaking her head on that. She's, she's shaking her head and closing her eyes. And look, she closing her eyes, but God is opening them. You know, you know Amen. Saying? Amen. Opening the door while she's closing the eyes. So you, you can shake your head all you want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> she get up, look, she gonna get on the platform one day to talk about the marketplace and the guy gonna shift the whole thing and she's gonna start talking about spiritual. Okay, you watch. Mm -hmm. oh, you know yes. I stand in agreement with you. Or something. <laughs> well, <laughs> the Lord has said that. Well, you know, well, you know, okay, let's move right. Let's move. Let's move. <laughs> I'm saying, I, so, so, so sometimes you got to learn how to not let people put things on you. Well, no, you know, your, your gift, your gift is putting on you. You know, you know, the calling God's calling you to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. The gift belongs to God, he operates as He will, right? Yeah, as as he will, and I am uh, in his will. Yes, and I am available to him. Amen. Amen. I like that, Tamila. That's awesome, you said, you said, Elder. Tamila, we, we got a yes out of Tamila. You did not get no. <laughs> yes, you did. You said yes to God's will. Yes, you did. You didn't. You did not get a yes. Because what I'm what I told you was the Lord did not tell me that. I know what He told me that I'm called to do, and that was not it. <laughs> so I, when I say I'm available to him, that means that I will be obedient to what it is that he has get, called me to do, and I will stand firm in it. Okay. Amen. 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 <laughs> Thank you so much. That was great. I, I enjoyed that. That was great, great, great. Um, those of you that are watching, you can see hit like and share, like and share. This is Overflow Friday. It's going to be great today. As always, this is Warf uh, Warfare College. Welcome, the General of Warfare. I think he, he might be popping on. If not, we're gonna we're gonna continue on, Amen. And and do what God has called us to do, and that's minister to His people and be a blessing to those of you that have tuned in, either now or later in the hours or whatever the wee hours of the night. Whenever you tune in, our prayer and prayerfully, there's something that's said that will bring you out of your situation and deliver you and impart you and impart into you the, the, the wisdom and the power of God. So we thank God for you, those of you that are watching. Hit like and share like and share like and share it's going to happen it's going to happen today it's going to be great as always it's going to be a ministering day it's going to be a day that we minister to the saints amen a day that we minister to the saints we have apostle mary baxter on and and it's going to be great we just as a lady we've been knowing for years for over 20 no for 20 20 some years we've been knowing apostle baxter she's been faithful steadfast 
Amen. She's a woman that when she speaks, she, she speaks the oracles of God. And so she's not a fly by night. She's here. She has the anointing of God and, and God is speaking through her. So we're going to, in a few minutes, just release her to give us a, what thus saith the Lord and, and we will move on and we will not hold you on long today. But um, like I said, hit like and share. We want the numbers to be up today, even though Bishop would know he's wherever he's traveling, he's watching. And uh, hopefully get to, he can get to a spot that he can jump on. But if not, we know what to do. We've been trained and we, we thank God that we know what to do. And we thank you so much for your prayers. We thank you for your for financial support. We thank you for your for your well-wishing and your liking and sharing your personal evangelism that you're doing right now, even as I talk, your personal evangelism. Some of you are on your job and got your Bluetooth in your ear and we thank you so much for some of you are driving in the car. Some of you may be sitting at the park. Some of you may be walking and you may be in the shopping center. You tuned in to see what God is saying. And God has a word just for you. Something good is going to happen to you this very day, this very hour. Something good is going to happen to you. Jesus of Nazareth is passing your way. And he's going to pass by and he's going to look in your direction. I love that scripture where, where your giving became a memorial before God. I mean, when they gave so much that God looked in that direction and gave them the desires of their hearts. So that's, going, that's what's going to happen to you. Amen. It's going to be a time that God's going to look in your direction and he's never going to look away again. And it will actually, it, it ain't going to do it but for a moment. The Bible says, in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. We thank you all for joining us today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So what we want to do, I want to take care of some business for a few moments and, and do some things while the apostles are preparing to come on to give us a, a, a fresh word from God that's going to take us through this weekend, through the rest of the week, through the rest of the month. Some, some of you are going to get words that's going to carry you through the rest of the year. Some, are going to, some of you are going to be able to ride throughout your lifetime on what God's saying to you. It's going to bring hope and it's going to bring you to an expected end. So we thank God. So what we're going to do, we're going to ask you to sow a seed and open up the heavens. That's all. We get to do it now. Let's sow a seed and open up the heavens. Amen. Let's do it. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. And lo, the heavens were open unto him. He saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, lightning upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Sow a seed and open up the heavens. And those of you that are watching you know what we're going to do. We're going to ask you what I want to do uh, today, briefly and quickly. We can sow this seed. I um, know it's, it's 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 overflow Friday, but I know the prophet's going to come on and she's got a word for you. But right, right, right now, I just want to to focus on as the seed is. I normally focus on the angelic seed. If I can get this thirty people, thirty people to jump in and sow a twenty-one dollar angelic seed. Thirty people sowing a twenty-one dollar angelic seed. Behold, I was angel before you to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I prepared. Beware of him, obey his voice, provoke him not, for he won't pardon your transgression, for my name is in him. Uh, Exodus 23 and 20, angelic traffic. Behold, he said, he's going to send it. God is going to send an angel before thee. That angel is going to keep you, bring you to the place that God's prepared. Amen. For he won't pardon your transgression, for, for his name is in him. So we thank God for that right now. So we we just need the angels' guidance and the angels protecting us. And so we just want to stick with that angelic seed. Um, he watches, the, he had God's got the angels day and night watching over us. So we can't provoke him, don't get on his nerve, as he said, but just, just obey his voice. Amen. For God is going to take you to that place that he's promising that he has prepared for you. So let's begin to sow. Let's begin to sow. We need 30 people right now. We could do it within the next five minutes so we can release the woman of God and we can we can and she's coming on it's getting ready to happen it's getting ready to happen we can release the woman of god in the next few moments and i know she's ready she's got a ready word i know she was speaking uh so she was speaking the last uh day that she was on i think it was last friday i think and uh, we were having some power problems and she went out but you know she's right before she went out she she she, she dropped the word for everyone that was watching and you you received that word amen it's going to happen the word has already been for those people but like I said, those of you that are here today, amen, today is another day. We need fresh bread. We need fresh bread. Amen. We need fresh bread. The word yesterday is already spoken. It's going to come to pass, but we, today we need fresh bread in the name of Jesus. So we thank God for the woman of God. So right now, if I can get 30 people real quick, real quick, 30 people within the next three to four minutes, three to four minutes, and um, I just want to put the request out there. When I put the request out there, amen, as I know Bishop is probably watching maybe some of the others, but as I put the request out there, I want you to just respond. And so that $21 angelic seed and watch God do great and mighty things in your life. 30 people. 
30 people right now saw a $21 seat, 30 people saw a $21 seat. Let's do it. Can you help me today? Can you all help me today? So that $21 seed. Some of you are so you so been sowing every day for the, for the last two and a half years. And so I know God is richly doing some things in your life. Can't wait to hear what God is doing. I was excited to hear what God is doing for his people. So let's start sowing. Let's do it. Let's do it in Jesus' name, expecting the favor and the grace of God to come over us as we begin to sow and watch God do great and mighty things in our life. So let's start. 30 people, $21 angelic seed. Amen. And watch God do great things in your life. You ready? Let's start. Dollar sign, Journal of Warfare. Zell, Bloomer.com, PayPal, PayPal me at GGB Ministries, text to give, text Bloomer to 844-889-1559. Can mail those seats to GG Bloomer Ministries, PO Box 3867, Durham, North Carolina, 27702. Give the five GG Bloomer Ministries, 515 Dow Street, Durham, North Carolina, 27701. Payment link, email media at bishopbloomer.com. Amen. So let's, let's, let's do it again. Some of you are you're shifting some things, you're moving some things, and some of you have got twenty one dollars just sitting there in your cash app, just waiting, waiting to wait for you to give it, to give it a charge, waiting for you to, to give it a destination. And this destination is going to bless you for the next few days. Cash app, dollar sign, journal of warfare, Zell, Bloomer at bishopbloomer.com, PayPal, PayPal me at GGB Ministries, text to give, text Bloomer to 844-889-1559. You can mail those seeds to GG Bloomer Ministries, PO Box 3867, Durham, North Carolina, 27702. Give the five, GG Boomer Ministries, 515 Dow Street, or you can do payment link. If you want to give anonymously, if God has blessed you so, and you want to bless the, bless the ministry, and you don't want your name called, by all means, email media at bishopboomer.com. 30 people saw on a $21 seed. 30 people saw on a $21 seed. Let's do it. Let's do it now. In Jesus' name, amen. And you can't beat God giving, no matter how you try, amen. So the more you give, the more... He gives to you. So just keep on giving because giving is true. You can't, you cannot, you cannot be God given. Amen. If, 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 if he gives you help, he gives you strength. Amen. He gives you wisdom. Amen. Just give and give and give and give and watch God do great and mighty things that you know not of. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Amen, Tamila. Let's do it. Amen. Give Ooh, it. Amen. Give it up to you. Amen. Hey, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Dollar sign, Journal of Warfare, Zell, Bloom at BishopBloomer.com, PayPal, come at GGB Ministry, text to give, text Bloom to 844-889-1559. GG Bloomer Ministries, uh, mail, P.O. Box 3867, Durham, North Carolina, give the five, GG Bloomer Ministries, 515 Dial Street, Durham, North Carolina, email, or payment link, email media at BishopBloomer.com. We're going to spend another minute and a half Open it up to heavens, and we're going to release this woman of God. Amen. We're going to release this woman of God for her to speak what God is saying. And we're going, we're going to gravitate to what God is saying to us. It's going to give us hope. It's going to give us an expected end in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me look here. I know you're giving. I know you're sowing. Thank you so much. $21.30. I need, I need 30 people sowing a $21 angelic seed. 30 people on the 21. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And it's, and it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Thank you so much. It's happening. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to sow mine in a second so I can make sure mine is in the, my seed is in the soil and the seed is in the ground. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm going to give you one last opportunity. One last opportunity. It's five o'clock. It's time to release the woman of God with a prophetic word and with a declaration. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've got another minute. That we want to stay right here and watch God do great mighty things uh, as we uh, ask you for this seed. Dollar sign, Journal of Warfare, Zell, Bloomer.com, PayPal, PayPal me at GGB Ministries, Texas Gill, Texas Bloom to 844-889-1559. Now, if I get right here, if I can get three more people, three more people right in here, and I'll be where I need to be, three more people, sort of $21 seed, three more people, just three, just three, just three, just three, three. It's on a $21 seed. We can do it. 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 $21 seed. Let's do it. Let's do it. You pop right in a while ago without him. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And as you sow, God's going to meet you at the point of your need. Watch him. Watch God. Watch him. Watch him. Trust him and watch him. Trust him and watch him in Jesus' name. Let's do it. Last time. Last call for, for the open of the heaven seed. And we're going to let allow the apostle to speak in Jesus' name. Amen. Dollar sign, Journal of Warfare. 
Zell, Bloomer at bishopbloomer.com. PayPal, PayPal me at GGB Ministries, Texas Gear, Texas Bloomer to 844-889-1559. Amen. Thank you so much, those of you that just, just stuck with us and, and even the bishop was traveling, prayed for us and intercede for us. We thank you so much for doing that. And you know, and the blessings of God be upon you. And it's going to be a day that God's going to have you at the helm of the ship and people are going to support you the exact way as you have supported other people. And that's a great, it's a great thing that God has put you in that position. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. And amen. God bless you. Apostle Mary Baxter. How you doing? I'm doing great on today. How are you? I am doing wonderful, wonderful. It's good to see you again today. <laughs> yeah. It's very, very good to see you. You know, we was you was you was on a you was on a road the other day and the power just 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 just, <laughs> just cut us right on off. And so we just closed out and but you but right before you left, you have dropped the you have dropped the word for people that are serving and stuff like I mean the, the word that you dropped, I said, wow, it, it couldn't it couldn't end it no better. You understand? And, and Praise God. Great, Amen. Great I'm sure God, whoever needed that word, God had them watching and we think Amen. God one way and he'll speak another way. So we thank God That's for that. Amen. So you, Amen. you give your challenge and then give your opening statement okay. and however, however you want to leave, whatever God is speaking okay. to your heart. And and uh, okay. and, and uh, we are ready Praise to receive. God. Amen. Yes. Okay. Bless you. Um, um, I, I just thank God for you as the servant that you are on today, overseer. But um, I've been, God's been dealing with me all day. And, you know, I like to really, really challenge people. But today he told me to ask the people for $80. And I said, Lord, $80. And he says, yes. He says, because it means unending abundance and remember over in the book of uh, Deuteronomy it talks about how God will bless us in the seventh year and then he'll take us to the and it will last us to the ninth year but oh when we get to the ninth year that he will release a substance that will carry us from now until eternity and I believe those people that have been obedient unto God that have sown as he has told them to sow have given their tithes and their offerings that they are about to enter into a place that no matter what goes on on this earth there's going to be an unending abundance that God is going to release in their lives lives and the scripture that he gave me he says the thief cometh but for to steal the pandemic came but to what steal and to kill and to destroy but I am you know and there's a little comma there and whenever you see those little comma or decimal points they mean that there may be a waiting period but I hear the Lord say that that period is over for those of you that have been obedient in the challenges in your seed so and as god has spoke to you and you have obeyed and he says i am come that thou might have life and that they might have more it more abundantly so anything that was stolen god says i'm going to give it back to you in an abundance whatever was killed i'm gonna give it back to you in yeah. abundance Glory to God. Whatever's been destroyed, I'm going to give it back to you in an abundance. Glory to God. So I'm telling you on today that those of you that have obeyed the voice of God, obeyed the people of God that have spoke out of the mouth of God, you're going to see supernatural wonders begin to take place and be released in your life like never before. Glory to God. So Amen. I challenge you on today, if everyone on this line on today would just sow that $80, don't think about it. If you got to pull a little bit from here and there, just sow that seed because I'm telling you, it is an abundance of release. It's like I heard just before I sat down, I hear rain in my ears, glory to God. And God says, remember, it was not I that stopped the rain for those three years, but because my servant spoke it, I backed up what he said, glory to God. And he says, tell them according to the word of God in the book of St. John 14, he says in 13, it says, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do 
that the father may be glorified in the son. So God is, a, he says, and if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. It's, it's, it's no if, ands, or but I'm going to do it, said the Lord. And so I challenge you on today to sow this seed, glory to God, just sow it. Don't think about it, just sow it and watch the hand of God. Cause I'm telling you, I hear an abundance of rain. I hear a release. You have got to start taking the authority that God has given unto you. He says, if you asked it, I will do it. Amen. Amen. Calm down. Okay. I'm coming down. All right. It's all right. That's all right. <laughs> all right. The, the, Praise the, the God. I'm telling spoke, you. The prophet spoke to the $80 seed. And the word that I, that I caught out of what she was saying was unending abundance. That's unending. Yes. You know, the, the blessing of the Lord make it rich and adds no sorrow with it. So yes. if we can get <clears throat> 10 people, just 10 people, just 10 people to agree with that, the, that word, who agrees with that word, to jump in right now. Just 10 people to agree with the word, say, I, say God is ready to send in my life unending abundance. And when you sow that 80, mm. put unending abundance, unending abundance, you're sowing yes. into Ending abundance. And those 10 people, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Unending abundance. So just this this so that that seed and, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see how this how this the uh the program goes today. If God allows, we will speak and we'll speak into your life. And um just so just so unending abundance. And I I, I appreciate Ooh, that. Glory. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. John 10 10. The thief comes out for the steel kill and destroy, but I've come that you might have life. You might have it more abundantly, unending, 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 unending. So we need those ten people right now to start sowing. Just so, just so that eighty dollars seed, so that eighty dollars seed, and as your name mm. drop in that, and towards the end of this program today, we're not going to be long. We're going to ask God to speak a word into your life, to, to into this seed that that you sown. We're going to ask God to speak a word into your life. Amen. That's going to bring unending abundance. Amen. You don't know what God's going to say. You don't know what God's going to release in your life. You don't know. You don't know what, what's going to happen when you release that $80 seed. Mm. Say unending, 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 unending in, in the name of Jesus. Ten mm. people There's, wanted $80. Whoo, there's no end to it. Mm. Amen. So let's do it. Let's start now. If you're the one, just sort of 80 toward the end of the program, we will speak into your life prophetically what God is saying to you, you know, when it when God sent it, it's going to be on point in Jesus' name. Unending abundance, those 10 people. Where are you? I'm talking to you right now. Where are you? Dollar sign, general of warfare. Uh, Zell, bloom.com, PayPal, PayPal me at GGB Ministries, text to give, text bloom to 844-889-1559. The mail to GG Boomer Ministries, uh, PO Box 3867, Durham, North Carolina, 27702. Give the five GG Boomer Ministries, 515 Dow Street, or your payment link, email media. At bishopbloomer.com again, dollar sign general of warfare. Still, bloomer at bishopbloomer.com. PayPal, PayPal me at GGB Ministries. Text a give, text bloomer to 844 889 1559. You can mail the seeds, you can givelify GG Bloomer Ministries 515 Dow Street. Payment link, email media at bishopbloomer.com. 10 people saw an $80 seed, unending mm. abundance. 10 people, we're looking at those 10. Now, if you, if you feel like you're in that, you don't have the $80. Amen. So, so a tithe is so eight dollars. So eight. But well, you need to you need to sow into this word that she's getting ready to speak, and it's going to be unending. So just you know, now, if you got it, God's speaking to you. You'll destroy the eighty. But if you don't have it, Amen. So a tithe or so you exceed. Amen. Watch God do great things in your life, and it's going to be unending. When He start, He's not going to stop. In the name of Jesus. Eight. So those ten. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? In the name of Jesus. So that seed now, and watch God. We're going to allow the lady, of woman of God, to to speak into your life in just a few moments when she give us what God has laid on her heart. Let's, let's begin to sow now in the name of Jesus. Dollar sign, general of warfare. Zell, bloomer at bishopbloomer.com. PayPal, PayPal me at GGB Ministries. Text and give. Text Boomer to 844-889-1559. Unending, 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 mm. unending. Hey, that'll preach right there, Apostle. That, that yes, preach yes, right yes. Right. That's Un what God is saying. And the whole time you've been talking, God said, he kept ringing to Miller, to Miller, to Miller. He says, tell her that unending abundance is her portion. I'm telling you, mm. I sense that today. I feel it by way of God. He's talking about unending. 
end in abundance. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. I'm telling you, y'all, servitude has come up before God. My God, my God, mm. my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, Jesus. Amen. Seems like lately God has been preoccupied with with with, uh, with uh, Elder Daniels, with Tumila Daniels. He's been wow. He's been preoccupied with her, so that's how we know God is ready to do great things in her life, and we are mm -hmm. we are happy. We are happy. We're, we're always happy. We're always yes. happy. Amen. So those of you that are that are sowing right now, we're going to give you one more opportunity to sow. We're going to release this woman of God to 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 to, to, to speak uh, what God's put on her heart, and we will allow her to speak with those of you that put your name in the chat. Uh, just sow a seed. Just let us see your name. Just sow a seed. I mean, prayerfully, those of you that have the 80, that's you, but if not, sow your seed, and we'll see your name in the chat. And if God allows us, we will speak into your life. Amen. We'll be able to finish it. The storm is not here, so we, we, got, we, got, we got some minutes today. God's going gonna, gonna to open some doors for you. So let's do it. Let's do it. Those of you that are watching now, let's do it now. Let's, I, I feel the I feel, amen. It's yes. Ready, ready feel God. Thank you, Jesus. So let's Thank do it. Thank of warfare, Zell, Bloom at Bishop Bloomer.com, PayPal, PayPal me at GGB Ministries, text to give, text Bloomer to 844-889-1559, mail those seeds to GD Bloomer Ministries, PO Box 3867, Durham, North Carolina, give the five GG Bloomer Ministries, payment link, email media at Bishop I'm waiting on you, I'm waiting on you, I'm waiting on you, even while she's talking, if you pull it together, just put your mm. name in it. There's something God wants to say to you today, there's something he wants to say to you. Not, not, not yesterday. He said he's already said it's yesterday. What yesterday's word is already unending. It's not going. It's going. He's, it's all. He's already performing it now. You need fresh bread for today. You need fresh bread. Fresh bread. You need God to speak a fresh word into your life right now. In the name of Jesus, watching, watch God do great things. So we're gonna give you one, one, one more opportunity, and then you can sow throughout the program, and, and God's gonna speak a word into your life. So we need those ten people, and I, I say, let's say you need those. Seven more people, seven more people sowing that eighty dollars seed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sow that best seed. Sow your best seed. Just sow, sow your best seed. Sow your best seed in Jesus' name. Amen. Dollar sign, John. Amen. Amen. Woman. Dot com. PayPal. PayPal me at GGB Ministries. Text to give. Take to eight four four eight eight nine one five five nine. You can mail the seeds. Give the five payment link. Let's do it now. In the name of Jesus. Just get your name in the chat. Amen. Get your name in the chat. And watch God do great and mighty things in your life. Yes, and yes, we, yes. We will give this challenge a little bit later on as, you, as, a, as the one of God speaks. We will still give the challenge for those of you that may be in, on your job and you can't really maneuver. Maybe you want to come later on. You may be driving and pulling over. And what God is going to do, great and mighty things in your life. Now, remember, when you sow it, put unending. Unending. When you sow it, put unending. Thank you. You begin to sow. Put unending. 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 And God, watch God. Now he's gonna when he speak, he's gonna speak directly into a situation that you need him to speak into. Something that's been bothering you for a while, but God's gonna bring peace to that situation by a word that He's given unto you. So I'm gonna give you one last time. So those ten people sowing the eight are your best seed unto this overflow Friday. It's gonna be an overflow in your life in the name of Jesus. It's gonna happen. It's ready to happen in just in a second. Now it's ready to happen in Jesus' name. Let's do it. Dollar sign general of warfare. Zell Bloomer at bishopbloomer.com. PayPal. I mean, at GGB Ministries, takes a give, takes Bloomer, 844-889-1559. Mail it to GG Bloomer Ministries, PO Box 3867, Durham, North Carolina, 27702. Give the five GG Bloomer Ministries, 515 Dial Street, Durham, North Carolina, or payment link, email media at bishopbloomer.com. I see your name coming. I see your name coming through. I see your name coming through. I see your mm. name coming through. And it's going to happen for you. It's going to happen for you. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen. Apostle Baxter, we're ready to hear from you because I know God is speaking to you. We release you Amen. now. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. But I, I'm, I'm telling you, I just encourage everyone that can on today to just sow that $80 seed because God is speaking and he is saying unending abundance shall be your portion and whatever the enemy has destroyed in your life, whether it's finances, whether it's your health, your wealth, your uh, relationships, whatever it is, I'm telling you, God is about to bring life to it in an abundance. He says unending abundance on today. And then he says, also tell them according to John 14 and 13 and 14, it says, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name that will I do 
that will I do. That that word will to me is so profound. God is saying that nothing can stop him from doing it. He says, I, he says, tell him today, I will do it. Ask me. And some of you have been afraid to ask God for some things, glory to God, because the enemy has been trying to tell you that you're not worthy, you don't deserve it. But I'm telling you, if you've been following the obedience of God, he says, obedience births blessings. It is nothing that can stop the hand of God from releasing in your life what you ask. He says, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do. And the Father, may, that the Father may be glorified in his son. So see, what you don't understand is that what God wants to do is he wants to show forth his glory, which is that tangible thing that you can touch and see. And people, Isaiah says, that they have to come together and consider together and get an understanding that the hand of God has done this thing. So what God is saying is he wants to use you on today to show forth his glory on this earth. He's about to, he's about to do some miraculous things. He says, tell them I'm about to pull the cover. And I'm not hmm. talking about exposing nobody. I'm talking about he's about to pull the cover and reveal what he is releasing unto his people. He says, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do. Do. He's making a covenant to you on today that whatever you ask him, he will do it, that his father may be glorified in the son. See, every time God said it's his good pleasure to bless you, glory to God, it makes him happy to bless you. Uh, First John says that it is his will above all things that you prosper and be in good health as your soul do it prosper. We got to learn to stand on the word. I challenge each one of you that are under the sound of my voice on today to open your mouth and start asking God. God says, I'm waiting on, he says, I want to enlarge your borders. I want to stretch something. Eh, glory to God, I want to stretch something. There are greater things, said God, that I want to do for my people. He says, I want to show you as a showpiece of my glory that after you follow and obey and do what I have instructed you to do, this is what I will do for my children. He says, if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. It's almost like he was saying, in case you didn't understand what I just said, I'm going to repeat it again. And he says, and take the limits off me and ask me and watch me. He says, I will do it. I hear him say, tell my people I want to work, but who will let me work? Will you allow God to do what he wants to do in you and through you? Amen. 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 Will you allow God? I don't know if it cut off or not, but will you allow God to do what he wants to do? Who wants to just obey him and let him show you as a showpiece on this earth? Wow. Apostle Baxter, mm -hmm. you have said so much. Let's go back and un 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 unpack it. Some sort of what the thing you said. You said, don't be afraid to ask. Yes. Don't afraid to ask. Sometimes we ask because we, we don't ask because we don't we don't feel like we deserve it or we feel like that he is not going to happen to us. But sometimes he you know, God wants to, to show that he is God. You understand? And yes. so he, you know what I'm saying? And, and Luke 12 and 32 says, fear not little flock for it is his good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Yes, yes, yes. His, his good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And then you said God's ready to pull the cover. When you yes. first said when you first said that I got nervous. I said, oh no. 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 <laughs> then, you, then, you, then you 
Then you said, no, he's talking about, I said, okay, well, I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> no, he ain't talking about uncovering nobody like that. <laughs> so, you know, we get nervous when we go, you know, that's all we heard we was coming up. God going to pull the cover. You pull, but, you know, thank God for, for what he's ready to do. He's going to He's gonna uncover the things that he's ready to do in your life and the blessing yes. that he's to put in your life. And the people of God, we don't, sometimes we don't even have a clue of what God's getting ready to do. Yes. We don't have a clue. I got a friend of mine, a real good friend of mine. I know she's watching. God was putting this lady in a, in a, in a brand new house and she was fighting mm -hmm. it the whole, the whole way. She, did, she didn't even believe in her own self. We kept telling her what was happening. She didn't believe it. God put this with her, uh, in, a, in a, a brand new house. And, amen. Wow. It was not even expected. I don't even think she was praying for it, but it did it happen. And so, and it's just, it's been, I mean, and so many other things, so many, I've seen it, I've seen it. So God's ready to uncover. And it it, is. it's his, just remember you all, it's God's good pleasure to give mm -hmm. you the kingdom. Just remember yeah. that. I don't care what preach, preach condemnation or you don't worry about all that. It's his good pleasure to give yes. you the kingdom. Amen. Amen. Is there anything else you want to say for possible? Because while you're I, saying the people are responding, they're, they're, yes. they're, I know. Bless them because they're, they're, you know it shows in what they're doing. So just keep talking. Praise God. And also, he says that um, he he says no good thing will he withhold from those that love him. Your mm -hmm. love for him causes you to be obedient, causes you to sow seed into the kingdom of God. And so there's nothing on this earth that God will withhold from you. But I want you, if you never hear me say another word, glory to God, I want you to remember, he says, ask him. And then he says, anything that you ask, I will do it. He put his name on it. Mm -hmm. And, and his name is so powerful that it cannot lie. And I'm My. telling you, you got to see those things that the adversary have destroyed. You got to see him bringing life back to it with an abundance, unending abundance. The blessings that will bring no sorrow. When you think your bank account is just about empty, God replenishes it. When the doctor is talking crazy. You go back to the doctor and the whole report has changed. Mm -hmm. When it looks like the relationship is all over and God rekindle the love again. Glory mm -hmm. to God. He said, I'm going to release, I feel that today, unending abundance in the lives of my people like never before. You all hear me say it over and over again because I believe that we are at the ending of some things where God, in order for the people to come to him, is going to be because of the glory that mm. he's going to release upon the people of God that have obeyed him. Because mm. mm -hmm. he says obedience births blessings. It's impossible to obey God and God not bless you. You said, it, you, said impossible. you said impossible to obey it's God. It's impossible. It's impossible and to it obey him. You said we need to obedience. So you're speaking a word right now. You're saying yes. if you these people release an $80 seed, yes. just obedience alone or out of, coming out of the mouth of the apostle. And this is not a regular preacher that we listen to now. We, this is not a, 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 a bishop or a deacon. This is an apostle. This is an apostle. This is what you call it. This is an apostolic, uh, a prophetic word. So this right here, like we were talking earlier about ranks, this is coming from an apostolic woman that hears from God. So God is speaking through her. The environment of God is speaking through her, letting you know that if you obey some mm. great things, say, well, I've done, done this before. And that. No, 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 no. The Bible said not, and don't, and do not doubt, and do not doubt. You do not That's doubt. That's right. Do not doubt. Well, I did it before. No, 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 no. Maybe this is your time. You got, you got, to, you got to keep doing. You, a farmer don't just sow one seed. He don't just sow one seed and go sit on the porch and say, I'm "Looking for harvest." He, mm -hmm. he, he, filled, he fills the field up with seeds. You understand? He put yes, he, yes. He out millions of seeds. He don't just put one seed and go sit down. You got, you got to keep sowing and sowing each row by row by row. They go in and sow in other field, row by row, and, and then the harvest comes. It's not just you may say I sowed last week. No, you got to sow by row by row and keep sowing. And when the harvest comes, every seed is going to produce harvest after it kind. So yes, okay. yes. Can I share this? Can sure. I share this overseer? It says in the book of Ecclesiastes, it says if the clouds be full of rain. 
they mm. emptied themselves upon the earth. So the cloud, remember I shared with you all some months ago where I saw the cloud, but in the cloud was Jesus's hand and he released his hand. And it mm -hmm. said they emptied themselves upon the earth. And if the tree fall towards the south or towards the north in the place where the tree fell, it, there it shall be. He that observeth the wind shall not sow. So if you observe the wind, if you observe the fact that you sowed before and it didn't happen, that was yesterday. But I came to tell you today, as I was speaking about that $80 seed, I just saw things falling out of heaven. On your behalf. I mean, they were falling out of heaven. Glory to God. Some of the things that are about to be released in your life is almost faster than you can obtain it or embrace it. Then he says, he that observeth the wind shall not sow. And he that regarded the clouds will not reap. So if you uh, check on what's going on around you and the cloudy situation in your life, you will not sow. As thou knowest not the this is what blesses me. And thou knowest not what is the weight of the spirit, nor how the bones do grow in the womb of her that is with child. How in the world on the inside of your womb do bones grow? Mm, 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 mm. I could understand flesh, but how does a bone grow in your womb? And God said, the same way you can't understand that. Glory to God. He says, even so thou knowest not the works of God who make it all. You will never understand God's works. You'll never understand the mind of God. He says, in the morning, sow thou seed. In the evening, withhold not thy hand. For thou knowest not whether shall prosper, either this or that, or whether they both shall be a light good so what you just you read know, huh? go ahead go ahead no That's no no ecclesiastics 11 3 through 6 so you don't know what god has in his mind on today whether he's going to take all the seeds that you have sold bump it into the 80 dollar seed and cause an overflow of great harvest so he says stop trying to discern what time it is and just obey. And he mm. says, if you ask me, I will do it. You said, stop trying to discern what time it is. Mm -hmm. Just obey. Yes, just uh, obey. That's that's a mic dropper right there. That's 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 yes. great. We thank God for you, Apostle. My yes. God, my and the, and the people are responding. So what, what I want to do. Praise God. I just want you to just get ready. I want to speak to speak to a few of these people as you, as you gave. I can feel some things and sense some things. I'm gonna call some names of people that are obeyed because people are watching apostles. They need they want ministry, they want they want you to speak, and they need a word from God. And, yes. and, 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 and it's it's okay. You want to it's the, it's I'm gonna say this and then we're gonna move on. I'm gonna it's okay to need a word from God because in the old testament, when there was famine in the land or somebody mm -hmm. couldn't find their sheep, they would go to the prophet. Amen. But when they came to the prophet, they came, you understand, they had that gift. You know, they didn't come empty handed. Unless God told them not, not to take the gift and they couldn't take it. But they went to the prophet and the prophet would speak and say, Tomorrow about this time, where well, he would tell them to go mm -hmm. with, tell them where to go find the sheep or tell them where to find this and find that. So you, yes. we, what we're doing is, is, is scripturally correct. You, 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 you need answers in your life. So we, we're coming to the apostle, we're coming to the prophet, and we need a word from God that's going to. Going to show us where our sheep is is, is hid. We're going to show mm. us where, where, where we understand where, where we're falling short. The, the, it's the prophets. So we thank God. We are, we're going to pull on the prophetic for just a few moments, and we, we're not going to hold you long. But but God is doing some great, 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 great things. I'm going to call some names, but they'll start. They're responding, and I want to get to as many as I can because people in this day and time, apostle, they need a word from God. We're in you know. No, they really do, really do. We do. We do. Some, of, some people have prayed as much as they could pray. They don't quote it. They don't praise it. They don't cry. The only thing they're waiting on now is a word from God. Amen. A word from God. Amen. Amen. So, are you there? There you go. Oh, yeah. I'm here. I don't know okay. what's what's happening. Okay, Everything well, is get... plugged up, but I, I don't okay, know. But well, anyway, let's, let's but I tell you, I want mm -hmm. them, whoever is listening, Mm -hmm. to hold on to what words have been spoken. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, because as long as you are in line with obedience unto the voice of God, He was speaking to you on today. He says, "Ask me whatsoever, and I will do it." That blesses me right there. I will do it. He said, Amen. "If you shall ask anything." Yes. All right, Apostle. I want you to right now know uh, um, we don't we don't we don't want to wear you I want you to get you uh, get your glass of water. <laughs> okay, uh, I got it right here. Get your little, get your little tissue ready. Uh, get you ready. I mean, we, we we I'm very sensitive. You know, I, I've been serving a leader for 26 years, and I'm very sensitive to leaders. You know, when they're ministering, to make sure you're okay, and so you can you're comfortably minister to the people of God, and so that God can speak freely through you. So I'm just giving you a few seconds to, to just you know breathe and. So these people really need a word from God, and I feel them pulling on you. I feel them pulling on mm-hmm. you. You know how you go to some churches and that church is 500 people, and the prophet come here and speak to one person. He's on the front row and sit down. You got you got other people. They, they say, well, they these kind of empty or disappointed. We're we gonna try to get to as many Amen. people as we can, and um, speak, and then we'll move on. Cause your words are accurate, and you you it comes from a pure place, and and like all the other prophets that we have up here, we we like I say, we just gonna speak the name, and I'm, I'm as I call it now, we're just speaking to the life. And I want these people to record these prophecies. Get your recorder ready or look at the time, look at the time frame that she says it so you can go back and listen to it again. And it's going to bring you out of a dark place and God's going to bring bring light over your darkness in Jesus' name. So I'm going to call some names. I need you to speak. Maybe they've really really been so. Thank you so much. Irvin Benjamin. Okay. Um, Irvin, uh, I can say this by authority from God. Uh, that is one of my sons, and mm-hmm. he is a seed sower, an offering giver, and a tither. Mm-hmm. And he often doubles his seed to Bishop and also to myself. Mm-hmm. So I say to you on today, son, that your ministry, glory to God, you've been waiting on God to do something supernatural for your ministry. And I see where, by knowledge, I know that some people have walked away, but that's most ministries now. But God is about to send some help your way. Glory to God. God says, tell him the seeds that he has sown in the evening and in the morning today are coming together and that it is about to release a great harvest. I see help coming your way. I see doors, glory to God, opening unto you for the prophetic that God has placed in your life. God says today, he says, you've asked him. He says, but I want you to increase your asking on today. Widen what you've asked me for, saith the Lord, and I will do it for you. God says, in fact, in the next 72 hours, there shall be a turn, glory to God, and you shall see the hand of God begin to do that that you have asked him for. You muted, King. You know, I love about you. You said, I know this man. And, 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 yes. you, and, and that's amazing. You, you, it's, I think it's coming from a pure place. Thank you so much, yes. Tawana. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Avis, Avis Tuma. Avis Tuna, you say Tuma? Tuma, T-U-M-M-A. Tuma. Mm-hmm. Um, Ava, when I, when I hear your name, I sense a woman, like you know how you've gone through the, the three term mesters, you know, the first term mester, you, you, you just not sure about this. The second term mester, everybody know that you have been with a man. The third term mester, you get miserable. That that you did like, you did not, you don't like anymore. But God is saying to you on today, glory to God, that you have come to the end of this thing. God says, I am about, because you have come to the end, I'm about to speak in your life, saith the Lord. I see you, you're in in the labor room and you are just about to give birth and you feeling like I cannot push any further. But God says on today, he's going to take his hand. I feel fire in my Mm -hmm. hand. He said he's going to take his hand 
and lay his hand on you, glory to God, and you're going to get the strength to push to the place that he has called you to. There is great ministry in your belly, glory to God. And you tried so many times to abort it, to miscarry it. But God says today, because you weathered what was sent your way, you are about to give birth to that that he placed in you from the foundation of the world. There is healing coming to your body, to your mind, and to your emotions on today. Amen. Lynette Cooper. Lynette, God, God is saying to you on today, he says, I am going in the area of your life that has died. It looked like, you know, they had the funeral put the casket down and they walked away. They thought it was all over for you. But God says, tell her that I'm about to bring life to that that people thought was dead. He says, you're about to see my handiwork in your life like never before. God says, over the next 90 days, you shall have a testimony of my hand like never before. And God says, tell her, I will do it. That that you've had on the altar that looked like it had been looked over. God says, today I've come to do it. Tell her, I will do it. Amen. Gayla Barber. Um, thank God for uh, Pastor Gayla Barbara. I know her as an outstanding woman of God. But today, as she is listening, I, it's like, uh, Pastor, I see heaven open up on your behalf. And I see God just releasing one miracle, one supernatural, one wonder after another. God says, I am about to increase your flock, glory to God. He says, tell her that I'm bringing healing in every area of her life. And God says that, that you've been so concerned about, glory to God, about your daughter. God says, tell her on today that her daughter is right now getting the greatest breakthrough she's ever had in her life. I see you dancing and praising God, saying, God, I didn't know you were going to do it like this. God says you have gotten to a place in his face that you can ask him today. Glory to God. And God says in the next 21, 28, 90 days, glory to God, over the next six months, he says, you're going to see my hand. He says, in fact, tell her by Sunday morning, she shall see my hand turn on her behalf. My God, the mm, Bible is taking place Jesus. on the Bible. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Bible is taking Lord. place. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. So you can get your uh, drink of water. Amen. You get a drink of water. Amen. <laughs> Get fresh yourself. Amen. Like I said, I'm sensitive to leaders. I've been with the leader for 20 some years. And amen. Glass of water. <clears throat> amen. God is doing it for his people. He yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. He's doing it. Nikisha Hines. <laughs> God says, Nikisha, come from behind where you are. It's like I see you hiding. <laughs> and God says, Today is your day, glory to God, to come from behind the curtain, said the Lord, glory to God. He said, because you've hidden long enough. He said, it was I that placed what I placed in you, glory to God. You no longer have to give apologies for it or whatever. He says, just continue to obey me and do what I have instructed you to do. And that that you asked me for, you are about to see it revealed right before your face. He said, cause I'm about to bring glory to my name on your behalf. My God, my God. Woo, Cynthia Summers. Glory to God. Mm. 
Hmm. Cynthia, God is saying to you on today, it's like, you know how you have a summons in the court. And even if you don't want to, you have to answer that summons. The Lord says, Cynthia, I have summoned you, glory to God, to this new place in me. Glory to God. God says, I, I've been downloading and downloading and downloading on the inside of you. He says, now it's time for you to take that that I have imparted in you and downloaded in you and come. He says, come, come, Cynthia, come to that place. He says, and in that place, this is crazy, but I see water flowing. Glory to God. And I see peace like you have never had. God says today. He's releasing peace in your life. He's go I see him going in your home right now. Glory to God. And I see his hand on your doorknob and he's releasing peace does and everything in there that troubles you, everything that, that calls you not to sleep at night. God says, I'm gathering it up. Glory to God. And I'm releasing it out of your presence. Nisa Jones. Nisa Jones. Nisa. Um, abundance, abundance. God says that today is your day that he is about to release an abundance in your life. You know, you, you have seen the hand of God, but God says you have not seen me move for you like I'm about to move for you in your, your, your house. It, in your kindred, in everything that concerns you. God says, you're going to see my hand move for you. And I see some unexpected, glory to God, finances. You expecting one thing, but God says, I'm going to go and I'm going to do what the word says exceedingly and abundantly of that that you have asked or thought. God says, I'm about to release some unexpected finances in your life. I see you want to get some things and your, your desire is even to sow more into the kingdom of God. And God says, I'm about to position you that you will be able to do your heart's desire. Amen. Amen. We got like 15 more minutes and I'm going to give let you get your little break. And you know, we got like uh, six or seven more names. And um, uh, I'm going to get those of you that still want to give, you can. So I'm going to ask you to sow that seed, dollar sign, journal of warfare, Zell, Boomer, bishopboomer.com, PayPal, PayPal me at GGB Ministries, text to give, text Boomer to 844-889-1559. You can mail those seats to GG Boomer Ministries, amen. You give the five GG Boomer Ministries, payment link, email media at bishopboomer.com, dollar sign, journal of warfare. Put your name in the chat and watch God do great and mighty things in your life today. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. 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 Dollar sign, general of warfare, Zell, Boomer, at bishopboomer.com, PayPal, PayPal me at GGB Ministries, Texas Give, Text Boomer to 844-889-1559. Mail, Givelify, or payment link. Let's do it in Jesus' name. Amen. we got a few more moments as the woman of God speaks prophetically into the lives of God's people. And we know that God is blessing them because they're, 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 they're commenting in the chat and it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. Is she there? Amen. Is she there? I think we lost her for a second, King. Okay, okay. But those of you that are responding, we thank you so much. We thank you so much for your obedience to the word of God. Amen. And, and one thing about God, God knows exactly what he's doing. God knows exactly what he's doing. Those of you that are sowing. God is speaking. If you hear a word, and <clears throat> even though she don't call your name, you can hitchhike that word. You know, God, you know, sometimes God speaks corporate words, a blanket word, is, and several people can receive that word and move in the anointing and in the power of the Holy Ghost. So watch God. Watch God do watch God do great things in your life. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing what God is doing in your life. I know, I know Nikisha is, is on the floor. I know Nikisha. I don't know if she knows Nikisha or not, but I I know that she's on the floor. Amen. 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 Uh, amen. We have a few more names left and I hope she can get back. 
Hey, maybe we have a few moments left. We don't want to hold along. We, we want to try to get off at the six o'clock hour, but we thank you all for watching. Those of you that are tuning in, some of you may just be tuning in today. It's Overflow Friday. Amen. The people are getting over They're receiving words from the Lord and, and giving them direction. And, 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 and it's just amazing. It's amazing how God is speaking in the lives of his people. And she made some, some important uh, declarations earlier. But don't be afraid to ask God. Don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask. And God's getting ready to pull the cover and reveal to you what he's getting ready to do in your life. Amen. He's, don't be afraid. Ask God. Ask him for a large thing. Ask him for something that's impossible for you. But what's impossible for you, amen, is definitely possible for God. Amen. We thank God for what he's doing. Amen. Thank you so much. Yeah, I see you. Amen. I thank you so much. Amen. <clears throat> we thank God. Somebody... <clears throat> Give a call, make sure everything's all right. If not, that we can go forth in the, into this show and, and, and be a blessing. We thank God. We thank God. Those of you who have sown, you've opened up the heavens, you've been a blessing. And Bishop, Bishop, while he's traveling, I know he's pleased. And, and we're interceding. We thank God for what he's doing in this hour. This is a great hour that we're living in. This is, this is a great hour. We're living in the final hour. So God's got to perform his word. God's going to perform his word. And the Bible says he performs his word with signs following. Amen. So he's speaking through the mouth of his apostles, through his prophets, confirming his word for whatever he spoke in your life. And God will confirm it. if he spoke to you in secret. God can confirm it in the open. We thank God for what he's doing in, in your life. Amen. You're blessed. I know you're blessed because you're tuning in every day. God is speaking to you in the area of relationships, in the area of your in the eschatology too. He's speaking to you on Wednesdays with our bishop coming on, giving you lessons. And it's just a great blessing for us to come to your house at this time. <clears throat> to speak what God has spoken unto us. And we thank God in the name of Jesus. Are, are we able to get her back on? No, she's working it out. She got something going on. Okay, okay. So talk, talk with me a little bit right here. I'm trying to do something right here. The prophetic, the, the, the prophetic word is something that is something, I think I think everybody needs somebody in their life that, 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 that can speak prophetically into their life. So you understand, we talked earlier about ranks. And, um, you know, it's good to hang up, have people that's above you that can speak, that can pour into you. And I think it's very important, very important that everybody in, have somebody in their life that can speak life in the midst of death. What, what do you think about that? I think that is very important because, you know, God, ha he set up ranks for a reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, to be able to, so we can always stay in communication with each other, that we can stay in communion with each other. Mm -hmm. And when you have, um, you know, specifically your pastor, you know, who's over you, and when he intercedes for you, you know, that helps you out so much. It gives you encouragement, it gives you direction, and, you know, it just confirms what God has put in your spirit that you have read, that you have prayed, and it just helps you, you know, along your way. Yes. And what a blessing it is to have a pastor that hears from God. Yes. Man, that's, a, that's a blessing right there. Most people don't know the blessing. You know, a lot of people just go to go to assemblies or go to churches just to go. To, they, they get lost in the crowd and get a good feeling, they get a good shout, whatever. But then when you got a pastor that can that see in the spirit and can see, your, you know, what you're getting ready to head into, it can call you and say, look, don't make that decision or whatever. It's, it's a blessing when you and, 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 the, and, and it's a blessing to be in a house with people that know God. You understand? Yes, it's, it's such a great blessing, and, and it, it brings even when you're going through a traumatic situation when people can bind together and pray for you, can pray you out of it because even, you may not have even told or spoken to anyone, but they're able to to see it in the spirit and then pull you out of that dark place. And that's a blessing. Yes, that's a blessing, and like I said, it's something that we, we thank God every day for God for for leaders for great leadership. And those of you that are watching, Amen. If you're under good leadership, pray for your pastor. Amen. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray. We take it for granted. We think that they are Superman, but we have to pray for our leaders. We do. We do. We do. Speak on that for a few moments. Amen. Yes. You know, um, we forget that they're human as well. Mm -hmm. You know, they have the same fears. They say have the same, you know, attacks. And sometimes they have greater attacks because they are the head. Mm -hmm. And therefore, when we surround them with prayer, surround them, ask God to surround them with their angels of protection and refresh their mind and rejuvenate their spirit, you know, that way they can hear clearer. Mm -hmm. And that way they can be, you know, the general or uh, whatever rank they are to be effective because, you know, someone has to watch the flock. 
you know, right. and they're, they're, they're our shepherd and we need that protection and they need protection as well. Amen. Amen. Tamila, you have something to do? Look, I was muted. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and what she said is very true. And it's from the standpoint that, you know, it does say like priests, like people. Mm -hmm. And so we have not a high priest who's not touched by. So just think about everything that you were going through. Your leader has to have an experience with that at some point to be able to minister to you. So, you know, you have to look at this thing from and you can't say, you know, it's from an isolated standpoint because he's dealing with what I'm dealing with. He's dealing with what you dealing with, what Tawanda's dealing with. And we all have different things. And, you know, and that's why we have to make sure that we cover our leaders and we keep our leaders in prayer because when the, the attacks come to them, they come to them strong and then it rolls downhill because it really, if in, in all honesty, the attack that is on your leader is far worse than what you have. You're just catching the residue. Mm -hmm. Same way oil flows from the head is the mm -hmm. same way that attack runs too. Yes. So we have to keep our leaders and in, 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 you know covered and whatnot, and understand that they are men and women of God, and sometimes they just don't have that of on. Right. You know <laughs> what you when you was talking to Miller, you were so prophetic. I would write the scripture down that Jesus was at all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Everything that we go through, he was already tempted. So just think if Jesus had to be tempted at all points, what about our leader, the type of temptation mm -hmm. we have to go to, Absolutely. go to in order to be our high priest, in order for Jesus to be a faithful, according to scripture, in order for Jesus to be a faithful high priest, he had to be tempted. And, every, and there's nothing that you're going through that Jesus hadn't felt. Absolutely. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Ain't nobody, don't nobody know the trouble I've seen. And ain't no, Jesus, he felt that nobody understand. Nobody knows. And I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not, I don't feel like I'm going to make it. Jesus felt that you, you understand. He felt that he, you know, he felt loneliness. He felt isolation, abandonment. And, and those, those, he was tempted to all those, those lusts that he, he was tempted. Everything that you're dealing with, he was tempted. So he makes him a faithful high priest. You don't have to go to that a certain church and talk to the priest in the box, you know, not knocking nobody's religion. You don't have to do that. Right. <laughs> Jesus is our faithful high priest. Amen. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me. My yoke is easy, and my burdens are light. Jesus. So those of you that are watching, just know that you've got a faithful high priest. Go ahead on. I'm just, I'm like, uh, I'm just agreeing with you. Go ahead. That's all. Yeah, yeah, he's a faithful high priest. So are we, are we able to get her on? If not, then. No, she's having a little bit of internet issue. Mm -hmm. Her internet said, no, not today. Wow. And it's amazing. This is. But see, and, and that's why it's so important that we, that and, and the angelic traffic seed is so necessary for this show because mm -hmm. that $21 is all about making sure that the traffic mm -hmm. is clear so that the word can come through with ease. Yeah. You know, yeah. the same way the angels are ascending and deep, because you know, that's my part of that 21. They're yeah. ascending and descending. They're going up. They got to fight to get up and they got to fight to get back down to deliver the word from the Lord. So that's why, you know, it, and you know that she is in a vein and you know that the word that is coming forth, it is what people need to hear or mm -hmm. else it wouldn't be interrupted like it is because this is the second week. Oh, and mm -hmm. the same thing, that's something. This yeah. is pure. around the same time. And you know what? And you know what else y'all talk, y'all, you know, y'all talked about the principalities. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. yeah. You know yeah. See, we're in the air. You just, the internet is air. Yeah. You understand? So it has to go through it. So the enemy so they say, okay, okay, we, we, we can get him now because he's in our zone. That's why those angelic, we got to keep those angels. Yeah. Those angels, we, those, we, gotta, those we gotta stay on top of that. Yes. You know, in a seed, however it is that you can, because there's there's the they they trying to stop the word from going forth, and we cannot allow that. We cannot. There's some people that's got this. That you know, there, there's some people that have got to be spoken into. But that enemy said, no, they can't hear this. But 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 he can't stop it. He cannot stop it. But let me share something though. See, the thing is, is that you know the there's still the the there's still a a residue of the word that she gave today, and that the thing the things that she spoke. Mm -hmm. if you heard it and something pricked you and made you stand up that was for you, for you too. that was for you and so just because your name didn't get called doesn't mean that you didn't get a word mm -hmm. your word was delivered but 
you just have to go claim it. You got to go pick it up because mm-hmm. you know there's the whole thing. She was still talking about servitude today. She was still talking about abundance. She said that to me. She said it to other people. Mm-hmm. It is in the air. And she told someone else it was time for them to come from behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. So many people that are on here, so many people that are listening that are hidden and have been hiding, but you are about to be exposed. You may not want to claim that one, but ain't nothing you can do about it because it's about to happen. Amen. My God. So, That's powerful. Do you want do you want to take over? Because right, while you was talking, people started talking <laughs> into what you were saying. Literally, I saw it. It's, it's, go ahead, keep going. But, but obviously, I mean, it's the truth. And I guess I can say that because I'm living it myself. Come and on. you said earlier, you know, that that the Lord has been preoccupied with me and he has the same word that she has given me. She has said it multiple times. I've gotten it from other prophets and it's been going on for months, almost Mm -hmm. a year, almost the same thing coming. And, but there's a few other things that they're saying. And I know that with, with, with everything that's coming, this is, it's, it's major. And, but what he's requiring of me to get it is major. Mm. And you know, it's like when you start hearing words like that, that's why it's important that you document the words that you get. It's, mm-hmm. you know, it's real easy, especially when we're sitting on the internet and you get a word, you know, you ain't always got time. I don't write that fast and I don't type that fast. That's just not me. So I just go back and then I take a screen recording of it and I save it and I just go back and listen. Mm-hmm. You go back and listen and you put yourself in remembrance of the word that was spoken to you. And then watch God deliver it because you will soon begin to see that there's a pattern that this stuff is not by happenstance. Mm -hmm. It is time to pay attention because God is releasing some things to us that we need to make sure that we are equipped and ready to receive it. So now, Tawanda, what would that Tamula said that she was she was gonna do only do when God allowed it? So what is she Tawanda? What's Tamula doing right now? (laughs) She's doing God's will. And she is speaking Thank the you. word, and people are responding, and she's hey, setting yeah. people free. <laughs> that is, I love her to death. That is my sister in Christ. <laughs> no, but, but, you, but overseer, and I say that because you know how I feel about that. I am not the one to say this is what I, you know. I'm I'm about to do it. No, because mm-hmm. th- when it comes to the things of God, I do my best to try to move as carefully as I possibly can. Mm-hmm. Because you can speak something to somebody that will throw them off track mm-hmm. just because of the platform that we sit on. Yeah, so I try to be very, very mindful of that and mm-hmm. know that you know because if I tell you that, I'm it's coming out of experience and I heard it from God. I'm not saying that that Tamila said and trying yeah. to blame it on the Lord. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. And that way, you know, God can trust you because he knows you're not playing around with his, his people, that you respect his anointing. And that's when God can definitely use you abundantly. And when he uses you, you don't even feel like you're being used. You're just saying what's in your heart and you don't realize the anointing that is falling from your lips that is helping so many people. So just know that you are anointed. Elder Dan, use you are anointed. Well, by the grace of God. I mean, it's amazing how God uses us. So we don't even realize he's using us. You know, mm-hmm. I, I got a word from God one time from a guy who was not even a prophet. I, I woke up one night and, and I, got, I woke I'm up most late anyway. And I just listened to, uh, it was a Facebook preacher. And I, I hardly ever listened to other preachers on Facebook. Not because I think I, we're better than them. It's just because of the type of person. I'm just, you know, not closed minded, but I don't know what word. I just, there's a word that bishops got for my life and I don't really listen to a lot of other voices. The other voices may be assigned to other people. And, mm-hmm. and I just have to listen to this guy preach. And when that guy said a certain word, I, my whole body shook for like an hour. I shook mm-hmm. and cried. People weren't prophesying, he was just speaking. And when that mm-hmm. word it hit me and shook, I never haven't shook like that in years. And, yeah. I, and I said to the bishop, I said, Bishop, listen at this. You know, and, and I got the word and I sent it to my bishop. To, and he said, wow. Then he said, King, you need to preach that. You understand? He said, you need to preach. I know which one that was. Mm-hmm. And you, and, and and you I know just... what? God, and God gave me a word, too. And it's, you know, I'm just going to say he gave me a, a, a message on that. And I'll tell you what it is. But... I, I know what it is. I can, I can blow it up right now because I know <laughs> what it is. And, and, I, and God's going to give me the time to speak it, you know. And it's going to be to God be the glory. To God's going to get the glory That's because... Good. 
because of what he's getting ready to do. But that word, like, I, and it, like what Tamil just said, whenever that word comes to you and it resonates within you, it let me be calling somebody else. No, no, that's for me. You understand? Because mm -hmm. it struck me on the inside. That's for me. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. And God knows it too. He knows. It. And so don't feel bad because they didn't call your name, stuff mm -hmm. like that. But they did call your name. Let um, me let me share something with you. Sometimes you will you will get a word like that because God needs to speak to you in private mm -hmm. on the internet. And so when your name get called, the whole internet knows your business. Mm -hmm. the whole internet knows what's coming. You know, a lot of the times with the things that we are getting ready to walk into, we really got to make sure we're moving in silence. And since we need to be moving in silence, the words that the Lord will release to us will come in silence as well, too. Mm -hmm. We just got to make sure that we're listening. Mm hmm and paying attention to what it is that's being released. Don't be afraid that you that you don't be upset that your name didn't get called because the Lord still spoke to you. Yes, yes. And then there's a time that he's going to speak publicly. He, it, just, it might not be just now. You understand? He's got a set time. I went through it for years. I went through that for years. You understand? Years, 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 years. But then all of a sudden he started calling. So I said, well, I'm still, at least I'm still in his, in his mind. You understand? Yeah, mm -hmm. something you should be happy that he that he do it in silence because you know publicly everybody know your business. Oh yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I say that because I'm a private person. Yes, I, I mean, and you know, I I keep to myself and all of that right there. So yeah, mm -hmm. I understand. But anyway, wow. y'all heard it today. You got a word today. Let it resonate in your spirit. Let it know that the abundance is coming, and that is. That is for the kingdom. Right. That is and you know what? I'm gonna say this, And I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> right. If God didn't say nothing to you today, just remember the last thing he said and ride on that. Exactly. <laughs> and, and that's why, and you know, you are absolutely right because, you know, some, because we will get to a, a place of low to bar. Mm -hmm. and hey. Where, mm -hmm. where, you know, you ain't hearing nothing. You ain't getting no word. You ain't getting nothing. But that is why you have to remember the last thing that he said, just like you said, and hold on to it because that word is the word that is going to anchor you and carry you to your next spot, to your next level. Mm -hmm. It's true because, wow. um, you know, when uh, God spoke to the Jews, it was 400 years before he spoke again. So they had to definitely had the faith to hold on. Just imagine you had to wait that long for a word. Um, Listen. This a scripture came to my mind when you said that the Bible said in those days, they said that there was no, uh, the, the word, it said the word of the Lord was precious in those days, but there was no open vision. Mm. Mm -hmm. There was no open vision. God wasn't speaking. He was quiet. And, and, and the first time God spoke, it says, Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. All now, all of a sudden, God is speaking again. He was quiet for 430 years. And when, wow. he, when he started speaking again, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. The government shall be up on his shoulders. Woo! I mean, just, it's just amazing. So now God is speaking. Now, the Bible says he speaks in the last days by his prayer. He said, God, at different times and different manners spoke in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken to us by his son. His son is speaking to us right now. So God is a good, he's a good God. He's a good God. He's a good God. So we're, we're not going to tarry long, but you know what? This this prophetic Friday of, of, of Tabula is going to be powerful. You understand what, what Bishop's getting ready to do with, with Apostle Baxter on Fridays? That's all I'm going to say. It's going to be powerful because the enemy is trying to stop it, but that's all right. We're going to continue on in the, in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to give you everyone to another two minutes to sow. And if it's okay to you, we'll go ahead on and 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 and, and uh, you know we don't want her to try to get her on and be frustrated and all that. We won't be able to be calm till we we bring her on again. And those of you, like I said, we thank you so much for supporting us today. So we want everyone to swatch it right now to sow a seed. Thank you so much, Tamila, for coming on and, and pulling us through. And people are still sowing. Whatever you just said, I mean, it's it's what you just said was powerful. It's powerful. It's powerful. It's powerful. It's what what I just. What I just said was my experience with God. My God. My God. My God. It's the testimonies that get you through. You know, sometimes <laughs> everybody thinks you need to see signs and wonders. Sometimes you just need to hear a testimony. 
-hmm. A testimony is what would get people through those tests that you went through. So they don't have to, you know, have to work so hard or, you know, have mm -hmm. to suffer so much because they heard that even though they're going through, this woman of God went through it, but she she went through it and saw blessings on the other side. And it but would be to one, your testimony is a sign and a wonder. Amen. You know Amen. Look at the stuff God brought us. If we could tell the story one day, like I said, in the future, <laughs> we could tell exactly what we, you know, understand. It's going to tell it's gonna, the story one day. And, and then we're going to say, I can't believe that. And like when people, I'm just going to mention, ready to read the book. They say, I don't, I said, I never told that. You know, like, I, that was, that was, I never, I never, I, the first time I ever revealed it. Mm -hmm. I was in the book, and a lot of things were still not in there. Because I said, "Dang, I didn't tell this, this, this." There was like a three thousand other things that's not in there. Yeah. You, you, you got to save it for the next book. It would be too many. It would be too many chapters. But God just said enough. Like the Bible, He said, "If everything was written, the world wouldn't contain the book." So I'm just writing you just enough to know that I'm going to deliver you. I'm going to bring you out. We're going to start another whole segment here. And then it's, 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 I'm trying to put the paint on the door, and the Holy Ghost and took over. It's, to the, I mean, it's great. It's great. Move in silence and watch God bring you to the forefront. And then when you get to the forefront, people ain't going to believe what was going on behind the curtain. They said, I can't believe that. Why? No, because if I had told you when I was going through it, you would have discredited me. So God yeah. had to bring me to a place of credibility for me to tell you what was going on. Understand that, that you would have, you, you understand? Yeah. So, if I would have told you, what, what was going on then? You wouldn't even let you wouldn't have you. I, I, you you would pay me no mind. But now we can. That's what that'll preach right there. But listen, <laughs> and now I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you look, when I look back over my life, and mm -hmm. you know, even when you look back, I was about to sing a song, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's amazing how. When you when you think back on the let me see if I can get this right. When you think back on the things that you have been through, everybody's got those stories that the the things that they suffered in secret, mm -hmm. but the things that they suffered in secret were never revealed publicly. Mm -hmm. The whole while you're going through and suffering, everything looks good on the outside, mm -hmm. and so and it, and it's this and this one of those are the situations that no one can say that they helped you, mm -hmm. that they did anything for you, because when you come out, it is all about God getting the glory. Amen. Can't nobody else say that they had anything to do with it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, it's when you look back and you look at those things in your life that you've been through and you found yourself still looking good to everybody else, but suffering on the inside and you still came out and you came out all together, that was for God to get his glory. And that right there, those are the kind of stories that we have to be ready to tell. Mm -hmm. Those are the kinds of stories that we have to be transparent about because those are the kinds of stories that would get people healed, delivered, and set free. And those are the kind of stories that bring an anointing <laughs> on what you're saying. Do you see what I'm saying? I remember when I first started preaching, you know, I would preach on Sunday. It's in the book and people would get up and walk out of church while I'm preaching. Oh my! Get up and walk and leave when church first started because I'm, I'm, I'm preaching. I'm just carrying on, just hollering, screaming, and people getting up, and walking, they sleep. And Bishop was telling me, but then after about twenty years of hell, uh, you understand? Had something to talk about, then. <laughs> yeah, that's in the book. Like, read it. I mean, you know, it's, it's in the book, and uh, it, it, it felt bad. It didn't feel good. Say, well, I just kept preaching. No, it felt bad. Mm -hmm. You know, to be honest with you, because I wanted to hear what I had to say, but listen, I didn't have nothing to say. <laughs> but Bishop bless his heart kept putting me back up, but because of the experience and the hell I've gone through, you got to you got to mute me now. Y'all had to mute me on the prayer call. Mute me on on, on the I will not. Shut, I won't shut up. <laughs> but I love you all so much, and we're gonna. If it's okay right now, we'll go ahead on and, and we're just gonna ask the people to give one more time. And we're gonna. I think this was. I think this was just. This all. This was good. It, the, Holy was. Was good. the Holy Ghost took over, and we thank you all. And uh, thank you all to have sown. And uh, mm, 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 my eyes done turned very like I've been drinking. 
because I'm sitting here tired as all get out. I'm struggling. <laughs> I am struggling. I'm it going to just giving us the strength with this tent revival. We're all over the place buying stuff and you know, making sure everything's in place and heating. You know, one thing I don't like about tent revival is this being outside. <laughs> yes. I don't yeah. think we can make that because you know he, he can't have a tent revival not being outside. But you know, <laughs> God's gonna give us the wisdom and the grace to, to finish this. It's gonna be a great week financially and spiritually, and the people are gonna be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. One last time, everyone give an opportunity to give. If everyone, everyone to give, if everyone on this watching right now. I'm just going. I'm going. I'm going just, just give a seat of ten dollars. Just ten dollars. If you get twenty people right now to jump, just give ten dollars. So look, I was truly blessed by this program today. In about the next two minutes, we're going to go off the air. If I get twenty people, just sort ten dollar seat into this, into this, and we're going to be a blessing. And we just continue to pray. Amen. Because Apostle Vax has got this. She's, she's on to something, and the enemy don't want her to say it. She's on to something, but she's going to say it in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Amen. I wish she was strong enough to come under the tent. You understand? But that, they'll, you know, come on. But we, we were trying to put her in the lineup, but we don't want to, we don't want to push. You understand? We want to make sure she's well. Listen, mm-hmm. let me tell you something. Whenever she told, when she told us on Monday that she was out preaching somewhere, I was like, we could have put her underneath the tent. And we still can. Right. Still can. Still Hello? can. <laughs> Look, we can just have a chair for her. We no, we, no, we, with the heat and everything, we just don't want to over. You know what I'm saying? You got the heat and all that. We don't want to, you know, we be respectful. Yeah. But, but we got we got a name called people are giving. So if we can get like ten more people to give a ten dollar seed, ten more people just to jump in and give a ten dollar seed, and it's gonna mm-hmm. bless. You've been you've been a blessing to us today with this. We it's, we've no slight on that. You've been a great audience, and um. It's just a blessing, a blessing. So let's do it. Ten people are giving a ten dollar seed, or you still want to sow the eighty? God bless you. Plug into that in Jesus' name. Dollar sign General of Warfare. Zell Bloomer Bishop Bloomer dot com. PayPal. PayPal me at GGB Ministries. Text the give. Text Bloomer eight four four eight eight nine one five five nine. You can mail the seed to GGB Bloomer Ministries. Give the five GGB Bloomer Ministries. Payment link. Email media at Bishop Bloomer dot com. <clears throat> so we thank you so much for all of you that have given. Those of you that my God, my God, I just want to just thank a few people. Erica, thank you. Lynette, thank you. Urban, thank you. Avis, thank you. And they're still giving. They're still giving. They're still popping down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to. Debbie, thank you. Dr. Shirley, thank you. John Banks, thank you. Rosetta, thank you. Uh, Avis, Jacqueline, Dale, Mrs. Dale, thank you. Shelly Roberts, thank you. Gwen Mippers, thank you. Minister Woods, thank you. Cynthia Summers, thank you. Nikisha, thank you. Anthony Jackson, Devola Scott, Gayla Barber, Mary Baxter, thank you. Lord Price, Barbara Glover, Ashley Parker, Daphne, thank you. Rosalyn Sterling, Lord Price, Denise Darabumple, thank you. Thank you. Markel Smith, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and you. thank you for, to Janelle and Keisha. Thank you so much. I know some people gave twice. You know, it's just, it's just, you know, it's just people when people believe in your ministry, you they give. And we thank you so much. So we're gonna stop right there. We we we're happy, we're blessed. And we you know what we're gonna do right now, Tamila. You know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna put the paint on the dough. Come on. Is that what we're gonna do? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take another text and go. I'm gonna start another subject. No, we're not gonna take another text. <laughs> Let's put the paint on the door. <laughs> the, the paint on my door is blood. <laughs> For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. Exodus chapter 12, verses 12 and 13. Covenant of protection. The instructions are? Come, my people, go home and shut yourselves in. Go into seclusion for a while until the punishing wrath is passed because God is sure to come from his, pla- his place to punish the wrong of the people on earth. Earth itself will point out the bloodstains. It will show where the murder have been hidden away. Isaiah chapter 26, verses 20 and 21. Go home, shut yourselves in, sanctify yourself, sanitize your home, love your children, sow a seed, 